Maca Pro, we're going to go into a new project, and then we want to go get our clip. And you can do this on video clips or um, pictures. Okay, so I have my clip. I'm going to then drag in my textured background. So we're just going to make this as long as this clip, and you just want to make sure that it continues to cover her face. Um, as you see there, you don't see any of her face. Um, or you could also crop it and transform and stretch it to fit the whole screen, but I'm not going to do that just because it's covering her face fine right where it is, so I'm not going to worry about that. So then from here, you want to make sure you um, put this on the bottom and have this video on the top. So this will completely cover it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the effects tab and we're going to go to our masks. And we're going to go to the draw mask. We're going to drag this on to the texture um, one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select this because then it will give you your control points. And what we're going to do is we are going to outline her face where we want the texture to be. So you will have to keyframe it, you will have to keep changing it because her face shape moves. So I'm going to start here and um, you can go zoom in and then you can just put your control points where you need them to be. You can always turn off the um, draw mask dots by just clicking that. And what you can do from there is you can go and switch. So bring this one down and this one up. And we're just going to drag those points to the rest of our face, and it's a lot easier when you just drag the original points. So one other thing, you will need to keyframe. So I'm going to show you how I do that real quick. Right here, we are going to go down to the control point section right here. I'm going to press this. That means it will keyframe it. And then every time you move and change it, it will automatically keyframe it. You won't need to go back and press this every single time. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up. Okay, I ended up cutting mine short just for the sake of the tutorial and the length of it. So, yeah, it's really, really easy to do. It's not that hard, but it does take time. I think it looks really cool. I know a lot of Sony Vegas Pro users use this effect. Um, another thing that you can do is you can always go over here to the draw mask and do invert mask, and you'll just see this. And that way you can touch up the control points if you would find that necessary. Um, also, again, this allows you to take away the, t the control points, but if you click this, then you can see them. Just gives, when you take them away, you can really see the full picture. Everybody, everybody, everybody.